Hello, and welcome to the Camp Corner. For those of you that don't know, I have one of my degrees in music education, and I studied percussion at the University of Northern Iowa. So anytime that I get to use my random collection of instruments at camp is very exciting for me. Um, and so today I was planning on reading you this story, Mama's Little Duckling, and I thought to myself, I think I could make this a little bit more interesting by adding some musical touches. So I hope you enjoy this video today as much as I have enjoyed putting it together. So this is Mama's Little Duckling by Marjorie Blaine Parker. Dandelion Duckling loved his mama quack. <coughs> and Dandelion's mama <coughs> completely loved him back. She loved him from the top of his downy head to the bottom of his webby feet. From the tip of his glossy bill to the tail of his fuzzy feathers. Stay with me and you will be safe. Mama Quack <coughs> told Dandelion, and he always was. But one day, Dandelion wanted to explore. Alone, Mama Quack <coughs> fretted. Not by yourself, she said. There's danger in the water in the air, danger on the shore, danger everywhere. I'll be okay, promised Dandelion, and I'll stay close by, just over there, with Dragonfly. So Mama Quack let him go. Hello, dragonfly, said Dandelion. I'm on an adventure. Will you race with me? Of course he would. Dragonfly loved dashing and darting between lily pads. Ready, set, go! Dandelion paddled his webbed feet. Slap, slap, slap. Dragonfly fluttered his window pane wings. Flit, flit, flit. Neither noticed the pike prowling in the pond. But Mama Quack did. <coughs> she warned them. On the double, Dandelion scooted back and hid under Mama Quack's wing, <coughs> where he stayed until the mosquitoes started buzzing. But the next day, Dandelion was eager to go discovering again. Remember the pike? said Mama Quack. I know, I forgot to watch the water, said Dandelion. Just let me go past the hollow log to play with little Polly Log. <coughs> Mama Quack <coughs> sighed and let him go. Hello, Polly Log, said Dandelion. I'm on an adventure. Will you blow bubbles with me? Of course he would. Pollywog loved gurgling and burbling in the cool pool. Ready, set, go! Dandelion puffed fizzy air bubbles. Pop, pop, pop. Pollywog blew billowy water bubbles. Neither noticed 
noticed the hawk hunting above the horse tails. But Mama Quack did. She warned them, and not a second too soon. Dandelion zipped and zoomed, zigged and zagged all the way back to Mama Quack. And he didn't budge until the frogs hushed with their peeping. But in the morning, Dandelion was as curious as ever. Remember the hawk? <coughs> Mama Quack <coughs> said, I'm sorry, I forgot to watch the water or the air, <coughs> said Dandelion. Give me one more chance, just as far as the leafy reeds to visit with the centipedes. Mama Quack <coughs> gave him a long cuddle and let him go. Hello, centipede, said Dandelion. I'm on an adventure. Will you have a nibbling contest with me? Of course they would. The centipede loved chomping and chewing on pond plants. Ready? Set, go! Dandelion dabbled her seeds and shoots. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The centipedes grazed on greens and grasses. Munch, munch, munch. Nobody noticed the weasel waiting in the willows. Not even Mama Quack. But suddenly, Dandelion stopped and looked around. Danger! It wasn't in the water. It wasn't in the air. It was on the shore. <coughs> he warned his mama. The weasel pounced, its sharp teeth flashing, but Mama <coughs> was quick, and the weasel went splashing. <coughs> Dandelion Duckling <coughs> loved his Mama Quack, <coughs> and Dandelion's Mama <coughs> completely loved him back. She loved him from the top of his downy head to the bottom of his webby feet. From the tip of his glossy bill to the tail of his fuzzy feathers. Be careful and you will stay safe. Mama Quack <coughs> told Dandelion and he always was. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story and uh, maybe learned a little something too. The next Camp Corner episode will be this Friday at 3 p.m. I will be giving a craft tutorial. We'll be making actually a musical instrument, a wind chime. And so today I wanted to show you what you will need for this craft so you can gather up your supplies beforehand. Now, I tried to pick a project that you could have um, the objects, the supplies you need already on hand, or they might be things that are easily um, replaceable if you don't have uh, what I will be using. So here's what I've got. I will be using one clay pot. Um, so they have a hole in it, and so that's the important part. So if you don't have a clay pot, you can use a tin can and drill a hole in the bottom, or you can even use like a plastic paper or foam cup and poke a hole through the bottom. So 
a clay pot, some sort of cylinder shaped object. Um, and then also you will need some sort of yarn or string um, and scissors to cut that yarn or string with. Then um, I'm going to be decorating my pot with paint. Uh, you don't have to use paint. You can use something else um, like markers, sharpies, uh, different colored paper, whatever you want. But I will be using paint. So along with my paint, I'm going to get a cup to fill with water. I have um, paper plates that I'm going to use so I don't make a mess. So you might also use instead a uh, tablecloth or newspaper to put down. And then, um, oh, <laughs> most important part, paint brushes if you're going to be painting. So I have paint brushes ready. And then I also have paper towels because painting can be messy. And then, let's see. Oh, the most important part. Fun, colorful things to add to your wind chimes that also happen to make noise. Um, so this can be anything that you can tie onto the string. So it should have a hole in it that'll make your life a lot easier. Um, so I have beads, I have buttons, I have different kinds of um, pony beads, different colors. Uh, I have um, some bells that jingle. And then this one is the kind of unusual thing. I have washers so um, of different sizes. And so when these hit together, they also make noise. It's not your typical craft supply items. So get creative if you don't have things like this on hand. Find other things around your house that maybe you could use. Um, so those are all the supplies that you would need. Uh, so please come join me, come craft with me this Friday at 3 p.m. Facebook Live. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining me on today's session, The Quilt Corner. Bye, see you next time.